What's up guys, Chris here from Bogus Prospecting. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. If you're an old moldy hat like this one, welcome back. Today we are back in the mustard gold pit with several friends doing a heap of sluicing, gold panning, and generally trying to see how much gold we can pull out in a full eight hour session. While we have been working quite diligently out here at the Master Pit, it's turned into a beautiful day. That cold, chilled air has lifted off to almost springtime. And I took a test pan from a new layer because I've been working the sand in the Master Gold Pit. Getting 20 to 50 specks a shovel, which is pretty good, but they are super, super fine, as you've come to know from this area. Uh, it's all just the flood gold that accumulated here in December. However, I've now punched through the sand and I've hit a gravel layer. I'm going to show you what one pan got me from this gravel layer. It got me that. All of that from one pan. There's a lot of gold in that dirt. And everyone's been asking, conveniently, Hamish brought out some extra power so I could finish all that dirt. Thanks, Hamish. I, that's the best pan of gold I've had from this spot. I've taken 10 shovels out of that layer that gave us that fantastic pan and cleaned out the mat to see what we got. Look at that, 10 shovels. This has to be the richest spot in the mustard gold pit that I have found so far. This is unbelievable. Without a shadow of doubt in my mind, if that deposit continues the way it's continuing currently, there are ounces in that bank. Josh, best knock knock joke, go. Knock knock. Who's there? Not me. Um, not me who? Um, not me Novocaine, you just been to the dentist. Yeah, well I went for one thing and got a three for one offer. Oh, three for one. Two, two fillings in a stint placed in, mm -hmm. so I can't feel half my face at the moment. Josh is just rerunning the tailings that are coming out the end of my high bank is set up because we know we are blowing gold out because of how fine this stuff is. I need a much longer long time set up to catch all of it. So he's still getting a good percentage of gold through the river sluice. And with the river sluice, you've got a little bit more fine tuning in the way that the water pressure hits it. So you can allow to catch that fine gold. As I'm using a pump that's pretty much dedicated unless I put a resistor on it, which is a future project.
You can see I've run a quite significant proportion of dirt out of this bank and this is the total gold take we've got so far for the top mat and miner's moss uh, out of uh, multiple cleanups. I however have just decided to clean out the bottom sluice for the first time today. It's probably copped well over 250 shovels and this is the result we got from that. Look at that. Now that, that gold there is a hell of a lot finer than what that gold is. It probably doesn't look like it that much on camera, but you can see why running two sluices was a really good idea. Ideally, I should probably have three, maybe four, to be catching everything that's going through that sluice. But with the amount of gold here, I don't think it really matters, because I'm really happy with that. So, losses be damned, many, many, many people are going to tell you to use dish soap uh, because the gold will float, and you can see that happening right here. That is all gold and it's floating on the surface tension. Dish soap breaks that to surface tension and will allow the gold to sink and stay on the bottom. Uh, a very quick way to lose some of that super fine gold because it's just sitting there, sitting there doing absolutely nothing except trying to escape. Josh has just cleaned out the river sluice that was running the tailings. Ooh, look at that fine stuff. So that's what he got out of, what, maybe 50 shovels to yeah. take? Of, uh, of the tailings that were coming out the end of the sluice. So you can see there's a, there's a significant amount there, um, but when you compare it to what we pulled out, <laughs> I'm still pretty happy with that. My chef came down, Hamish, for a wonder and showed me what he got for a few hours worth of crevicing further upstream. That is an absolutely smashing job. Look at that. They're coarse bits compared to what I'm mining. Good work, Hamish. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Eating bacon and eggs, having a campfire, sluicing some gold, crevicing some gold, watching your dog try and electrocute himself on a solar panel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, something happened that we like to call bullshit. You just got a beep for that. The adults will know what the word was. <laughs> Mick's been out here diligently river sluicing an area that I showed him where a few videos ago you would have seen some super coarse black sand and a couple of nice nuggets come out and I said there's plenty more pay there why don't you have a check there and so he did he was cleaning out his sluice and have a look at this there it is ladies and gentlemen that is one fine looking bit of reef gold it is a beautiful picker so there's plenty more still down there and I'm stoked that Mick actually got one. Mick's only a beginner. He's only just started his prospecting journey. So to find something like that is some serious motivation. And of course, it makes the noise. Miss, I'm done. That is officially our full day's work. It is just before four o'clock and I have been working now for about eight-ish hours, which is a full day's work. So we'll see how much gold we got. That's not a bad way to end the day. This is the total gold we got for the last run of the day. It is a nice fat pay streak up the top there. That was from about 45 to 50 shovels worth of dirt. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is all the gold we got for the total today. Now that is actually quite a thick layer of gold. It's very hard to see that on camera. Um, I don't know how much is there, but I will put it up on screen for you down here with the total Australian dollar amount and wait for you to see how much we made in an eight hour session. Irrespective of how much we made, it's not about that. That's not what I'm out here. It's not why Josh and Mika out here and a whole heap of other processors. We come out here for the fun of exploration, the chance at finding a big one and the excitement you get from seeing just a single piece of gold on a creek when you're out test panning. Until next time, guys, I hope to meet you out on a creek, give your dog a pat for me. Peace, and we're out. Blah.